The integration of the new C Trader platform means it's never been easier to trade with skilled funded traders. This video is a quick tutorial on how you can get started. First off, make sure you visit our homepage and scroll down until you can see where you can select your challenge. Once you've decided on the challenge type and size, click buy challenge and make sure that C Trader is selected on the following page. Scroll down and enter your billing information and once complete, click purchase challenge. After you've done this, you'll be emailed with next steps and your account details. So once you're logged in to the C Trader platform, you'll be able to place trades on the account. On the left hand side, you will see the instruments you can trade. So if we go to popular markets, let's say we want to trade Forex and we want to trade AUD USD. We can open a new chart and this is what we will see by default. Currently the markets are closed, so that's why we don't see any movement, but we can create pending orders. Once you decide which instrument you want to trade, you can customize the charts. You can do this by right clicking the chart and clicking color options. I don't like the grid, so what I will do is I will make that fully black. I like my bear candles to be white, and I also want the outlines to be white, so click that. I want my bid and my ask price to both be yellow. Then if we want to get rid of the volume ticks, we can go down here and get rid of tick volume. I don't like the logo on the background, so click on background, we will go to none. You can also add a specific background if you would like, then hit apply. Now our charts look clean. If you guys trade with indicators, you can find the indicators button at the top. You click on indicators and this is where you will decide which indicators you will use and add to your chart. There are a ton of different indicators you can choose from, but for now I will leave that off. Now let's say you want to go long. If we want to enter a trade, there are multiple ways we can do this. One option is to right click, go to create new order, or if you already know you want to enter a buy limit at the area you clicked on, you can just press buy limit and it will place it on the chart. If you want to set your stop loss level, you can do this easily by clicking on this button and dragging the stop loss to the level that you want. It will tell you the exact amount of pips and the exact price in dollars that you are risking. And this works the same for the take profit. All you do is drag the take profit level to where you want it to be. Now another way to enter a trade is by clicking new order in the bottom right hand corner. You can enter a buy limit or a sell limit. Currently the markets are closed, so I would not be able to place a market execution trade. But with C Trader, you can place a limit order even when the markets are closed. So we would add the entry price here. Let's say I wanted to enter at 0.6825. I'm going to enter with one standard lot. You can also add an expiration if you want the trade to be cancelled at a certain date and time. With the stop loss, we can customise this to the exact amount of dollars or the exact percentage amount we want to risk. And we can also set our take profits the same way. Let's say we also want to gain 15% on the count. It will tell us how much profit we would make. Then we just press place order. Now the order is active. And if we want to modify the order, we can just go into modify order and we can adjust the position size. So maybe we want to remove 0.5 lots from the position. We just click the level we want, then hit modify, then okay. On the right hand section, we have drawing tools. You can find them in here. For example, if you wanted to create a level, you can click horizontal line and you can set your levels. Adjust the colors and the thickness of the line. Now C Trader does offer copy trading and you are able to create your own scripts and add your own bots. But please make sure you are following the rules of the challenge. You can find the rules on the FAQ section of the website. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to the support team via the live chat.